Next, I want to talk about the special fields over here uh, on the Field Explorer. And from the special fields, you can add things like the page number and the date and different items onto your report. The special fields are always available. They come with every single report. Now, if you don't have your Field Explorer open, it's, it's important to have that open. So I'm going to close that on purpose just so I can reopen it. Once that's closed, I can pick on the View menu and then pick on Field Explorer. And now that's going to open over here on the right hand side. You could move that window. Some people uh, sometimes have seen it on the top of the screen or on the bottom of the screen. I guess I always like mine on the, on the right hand side, but you could move that if you wanted to. Now, in other videos, we're going to talk about these different aspects of the Field Explorer. It's actually a very important part of Crystal Reports. But to do things like the page number and the date, you're going to go down to Special Fields. Let's, let's expand that. Okay. Now, notice what you have. You have things like uh, the, the, current, uh, the date, the time, the time zone. The author is the person that made that report. Maybe that's you or maybe that's somebody else. Let me actually show you where you get the author's name. So uh, I'm going to pick on File, and then I'm going to pick on, at this point, we're going to pick on Summary Information. Now notice how it says author there, and uh, there's the title and the subject. Some of those are going to show up in the, uh, in the special fields. So for example, I'm going to type in my name and the author's name here on the, uh, the document summary. So we're going to click on OK and save that. Now the way I got to that was file and then summary information. You can see the author's name is still there. So if I wanted that to appear on my report, then I have that special field that's called author. Uh, a lot of people like to see the, uh, the path and the, and the file name. So here's the file path and the file name. We can include that into our report. We have uh, the page number. Now I like this page number over here. It says page N of M, which basically means page one of five, you know, something like that, or page two of six. Or you can just use the regular page number, that's okay too. So um, then we have the record number, or the report title. The report title would also be under the summary information, as we can see. It's right over here, the title. All right, so let me show you how you would use these. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page. Let's say I want the page number at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to pick on page N of M and move that right into my page footer. Notice how I'm just dragging that in. I'm going to put it on the page footer so that it appears on the bottom of each page. Let's say I want to get the date. So there's a couple different dates that you can use here in the, uh, the uh, special fields. The data date is the last time the data was refreshed. The way you would refresh your data, by the way, is with this icon over here. The, um, the file creation date is when this report was first made. The modification date is when this report was last modified. I like to use something that's called the print date. The print date will show when the re report was printed and it'll change every time that you print the report. So we're going to pick on print date and just drag it. You notice how I'm still in the page footer section. So I'm just going to drag it right over here. And now we have uh, the date as well. Now, what if you wanted that author's name? Well, we can get that. I'm just going to pick on uh, the file author. And I'm just going to drag it into the uh, report, uh, into the page footer again. Notice how it has my name because I typed it in under file and then summary information right over here. Okay, so as you can see, the special fields are going to be extremely helpful for you. It has things that you're going to use all the time, like the page number, the date, maybe the record number is something that you use all the time, the, um, the file path and the file's name, the file author. All of these are contained in what we call special fields. Once you have that listing uh, under the field explorer, you're just going to drag those fields in into the appropriate area. And that's how we can use the special fields to add things like the page number and the date and different features like that.